Bitcoin is actually highly, highly risky asset here because we're still early days. Therefore, I should hold on to it for a long time. They don't think like that. Usually with most retail people, they're, they'll do the opposite. They'll actually sell their higher risk speculative bets first rather than hang on to them for the longest and they never see the benefit. So that's, that's what I'm concerned about is that these ETFs will burn a lot of retail investors who don't fully understand how Bitcoin works right. and that it should be considered a long-term investment, not a speculative bet. Well, that's, I guess, maybe where an advisor comes in and says, like, do not unload that Bitcoin. Every financial advisor, unfortunately, we need to make a living often by recommending mainstream traditional financial products that you need to get by. We give you the advice, we help implement it for you, and then we get paid in the process. So it's really hard when you consider this new type of technology that runs autonomously, that can't be owned by anyone, that isn't subject to any regulation. It's really hard to imagine something like that could actually be a useful tool for advisors first and then for their clients. Now, of course, any good financial advisor will be thinking about their clients first and themselves second.